sparking images are reflections of light, especially infrared light, which can be seen on various ocular anatomical structures. The Parkin images are named after the Czech anatomist Jan Evangelista Parkin. A few years later, they were also studied by the French physician Louis Joseph Sanson. Therefore, they are also called Parkin Sanson images. The first Parkins image is the reflection from the outer surface of the cornea. The second image is the reflection from the inner surface of the cornea. The third image is the reflection from the outer surface of the lens. And the fourth Parkins image is the reflection from the inner surface of the lens and is also referred as the lens posterior reflection. Unlike the others, fourth Parkins image is an inverted image. These images can be used to evaluate the curvatures and separation of the ocular surfaces. Light reflected from the anterior and posterior surfaces of the lens can, in turn, be reflected back into the eye from the posterior surface of the cornea. In this way, the third and fourth Parkins images can be visible from the within the eye itself. The first Parkins image, the cornea reflection, is generally known as glint, is the brightest of the four. The first and second Parkins image are almost completely superimposed, thus only the first Parkins image is typically used to detect eye fixation since it is brighter. Third Parkins image is larger than the other images. The differences in size is because the curve of the lens is bigger on the front of the lens versus the back of it. The first and fourth Parkins images are used by some eye trackers, devices to measure the position of an eye. The first and fourth Parkins images move together through exactly the same distance. If the eye rotates, however, the two images move through different distance and thus change their separation. The physical separation of these two images, therefore, yields a continuous monitoring of the angular position of the eye or of the point in space at which the gaze is dilated.